after Dr. Garcel, they put this boring finance guy up here. Right? He's talking about making an AI that's going to take over the world and think like us and super intelligence and all that. And, and here I come. And what do I do is I'm going to put up a graph. Who wants to see a graph, right? We're talking about artificial intelligence. But number one, this was not created with Microsoft Excel. I'm a little bit, little bit advanced beyond Excel. Uh, but this is a really important graph, because what it tells you is what AI delivers today. Before we achieve the singularity, we are, you can apply AI right now and deliver real world solutions, like big impact social solutions. And, and if you look at the second column, what we have delivered for the African American community, for the black community, is double, right? Twice the access to finance, twice the access to money than without artificial intelligence. And across the board, on average, 1.7 times. So, so how, how does Angel Eye do it? She does it by meditating? No. Uh, we meditate, our engineers meditate, and we create great software. And the technology, what it does is it makes decisions that we say 100% trusted. It makes decisions fast, on demand. It delivers finance on demand. OK, so if anybody of you purchased a house or refinanced or something, you know it's a long, complicated, painful process because financial services, all of financial services, it's the only industry in the universe today which is not automated. It's the only industry where everything is manufactured by hand. Okay, the cell phone you're holding, even the, the jacket you're wearing, it's all machine, machine manufactured, except you go buy that insurance product, you go open the bank account, the KYC, the, the mortgage, the automobile loan, that's all done by hand. Yes, they have computers to make it look fancy. OK, that's just for show. The real work is done by human beings, done by hand. It's error prone, it's full of mistakes, and it's full of bias. But if you move that from hand to an AI, you eliminate bias, you eliminate the errors, and you make it fast, and you make it on demand. And best of all, when you talk to Angel AI and you get an answer back, it's an answer that is trusted. It's what I say 100% trusted because my finance company, I will stand behind those answers. So if it, if it calculated it wrong, you get the money anyways. Right, that, that's huge. Like if you're buying a million dollar house and if Angel AI calculated wrong, you're still going to get the money. So you don't have to, the, the experience of, of trusting a bank loan officer, and you all saw the news how many of you saw the news about Navy Fed, right? CNN did an did a article on Navy Fed that, you know, what is it, two times the, the decline ratio or something of the equivalent black borrowers over white borrowers. Or, or Wells Fargo got dinged by, by uh, CFPB for uh, redlining. Okay, this is all, not because, I don't blame the top of the house. They have good intentions. But it's actually, the problem is at the bottom of the house, it's because it's so manual, and they just don't want to deal with complicated situations. And you move that to an AI, then you get, you get distribution of money where it belongs in the hands of people, true democratization. OK, so how does it work? This is like Uber delivers a car to you on demand, right? It's, it's part human being, there's a human driver, and it's part technology coming together, and you get you get the delivery on demand. It's simpler for a car, right? much more complicated for finance, because there's so many regulations, there's, there's so many things that can go wrong. And, and it's, a moving, it's a moving target for the AI, for, for the, the service provider. So if we you know, if you look at the evolution of financial services, you know, the you know, FDR in the 30s created the housing and urban development. And from the 1930s, from FDR creating a housing and urban development to basically now, nothing much has changed. The process is still the same. In, in the middle, we had the internet. We got internet loan applications that make it seem 
like, oh, we got technology, but all it did was it just was a fancy typewriter. You, you were able to give it your information over the, over the internet, but afterwards, everything is still manual. We did our first angel AI, full end-to-end -end angel AI closing of a mortgage back in 2018. So our technology is, um, you know, today we've integrated some LLM capabilities or some LLMs into it, but our technology is fundamentally not LLM. It's, it was released before ChatGPT was, I think that was back then, it was ChatGPT 1 or something. Okay, so it is, is a different kind of uh, uh, technology built on uh, small nano, um, I call nanobots that make little decisions. And you know, the, the difference between financial services than any other kind of technology or any other kind of AI is that it has to be right. Right? So if, if in financial service, you get your bank statement and the balance at the bottom cannot be a penny off, right? Whereas in ChatGPT, it tells you, you know, the answers could be wrong, okay? So when, when you're buying a million dollar house, two million dollar house, whatever, and you, you're going to get a decision up front, you know, on that first day when you say, hey, I want to buy this house, and you get a decision, you want to be able to trust that decision. So the traditional process, I won't even bother, bore you guys going through. This is the traditional process of what happens in a, in, in a mortgage process where you don't know the answer till the end, or any kind of financial services, whether it's insurance or, or, or an auto loan or, or anything else. It takes a long time to get an answer, and you don't know until you have it, until you actually have the money, whether you got the right answer. The AI financial services is you get the answer up front, you get it in minutes, and at the end of that answer, okay, you get a token, you get an NFT. So you combine AI and blockchain. So now you get to bid your credit out, okay? So you get represented as an NFT. It's final, like if you want, a, if, if you want a million dollars, that NFT says you're, you're good for a million dollars, and now you can bid it out to any bank on, on, on the planet that's willing to buy the NFT, and you exchange the NFT for, for the money. Right? So it completely disintermediates the whole system. So it goes straight from you, the consumer, you talk to the AI, you get the NFT, you bid it out to banks, banks, uh, you, you, you take the lowest rate that the banks give you. Okay, future, what we, what, what our plan for this year is we want to get it out to every consumer's phone. We want every consumer to be ha have this. 50% of America needs some form of credit repair. Some, some vendor has misreported them. So we're offering free, the, the AI will be doing free credit repair. Uh, all sorts of marketing capabilities for small businesses uh, and all forms of other financial services because most, basically all financial services are ultimately decision, they have to make a go, no-go decision at some point, whether it's credit card or um, insurance or banking or whatever, it's all go, no-go decisions and it does a very good job of weeding through regulations and making those decisions. So if you want to learn more about it, um, all you do is send a text message through 332-ANGEL-AI, which is 332-264-3524. And it's on demand. Uh, we offer a one-hour free workshop that's actually conducted by a human being, not by the AI. It's personalized. And you just text it, your name, your email address, what one hour you have available that starts at the top of every hour, okay, uh, during normal working hours. And a human being will do it through Zoom, will walk you through Angel AI and give you a uh, first-hand experience. And then, and today, for any, if you, for, you could use it for your home financing needs. Uh, tomorrow, any small business owners can use it for, for building your markets, all sorts of marketing capabilities that are in there. Real estate agents use it today, um, and, and people in the loan industry use it today for building their market and, and, and staying in touch with their customers. We're going to be offering that for, for everybody. So 332-ANGEL-AI, 332-264-3524. Just give it a, send a text message, your name, email address, when you have one hour available, 
and get a free, uh, free workshop and learn more about it and get your hands on and get, get ready to go. And I got two minutes left if there's any questions. Yes? Um, yes, the question is, does it still have to go through DU? And, and those of you who are not in the industry, DU is Fannie Mae's underwriting system. Uh, so the answer is yes, but you as a customer, whether you're a realtor or you're, a loan, you're in the loan business or whether you're a consumer, you don't know, you don't care. It does it behind the scene and it does it within minutes. Okay, so once you give it just enough information, it'll, it'll take care of it. Okay, and, and it will also do the lowest cost path of getting you that money. Any other questions? It's super easy. You just chat with it. Okay, so you go to angelai.com, and there's a button there to chat with it. You just start chatting with it. Okay, now one of the things is, it's, one of the things about it is that its answers are because I stand behind every single answer it gives, okay? So that means it can never be wrong, because if it is, then, then I have to write a check, <laughs> okay? So it's not instantaneous all the time. So one of the things that we're working on is to get it 100% trusted and 100% fast, okay? So it gets faster all the time. Right now, about 30% of the things that you ask it gives you, you get an instantaneous answer, and we're, we're you know, our goal is to get that up to 100% this year. So it gets faster and faster. What's that? When are we going public? Well, we are, are well, we got to get our development roadmap for this year done. And the, the goal is to get millions of users on it, and then, and then we, we, we think about going public at that point. All right, so uh, the, the, the add-on to that is it's, it's I, I've been very fortunate. God has been, God's been great. Uh, made a lot of money in the mortgage business. So, and this is self-financed and it's flowing very nicely. And it makes me money while I build it, right? Because I'm using it within my own business. So, all right, all, I think I'm out of time. They're about to yank me off. Thank you, bye-bye.